The desperation in Puerto Rico is growing in the wake of Hurricane Maria. One week after the storm, the island's electrical grid is still down. 40% of the population is without drinking water, and food, medicine, and fuel are running out. At least 16 deaths are blamed on Maria. Officials say that situation could get much worse if emergency supplies are not handed out soon. All we need to get into people's hands now, not tomorrow, not later, now. The Trump administration is sending more military personnel and ships to Puerto Rico to help with the growing crisis. President Trump himself plans to visit next week. This evening, thousands of Minnesotans with ties to that island are afraid. WCCO's Nina Moyni had a chance to speak with a state senator who was born in Puerto Rico. And how is her family doing, Nina? Well, they're having a hard time, as you can imagine. She's a state senator from the Dinah area, but Melissa Franzen grew up in Puerto Rico. She didn't hear from her family for five grueling days after this hurricane hit. She's hoping Minnesotans can open their hearts to the Americans on that island. Okay, perfecto. When we caught up with Melissa Franzen, she was trying to coordinate how to get oxygen to her 94 year old grandmother who's stuck at home in Puerto Rico. Gracias. Think about any one of us that did not hear a word from your entire hometown for five days. Franzen moved here to attend the University of Minnesota 16 years ago. And I met my husband from Little Falls, Minnesota, and the, and the rest is history. Since then, she's become a DFL state senator, small business owner, mother, and wife. Used to juggling so much, she felt utterly helpless when the hurricane destroyed much of where she grew up a week ago. It's like the state of Idaho, the state of West Virginia, or Nebraska. That is the comparison of the population. And imagine one of those states completely isolated from water, energy, or food. Visiting family just before the hurricane hit, Franzen knows it will take years to rebuild the beauty she remembers. But more urgent needs are pressing. How are they supposed to plan to be out of fuel, water, and food right. for? In a week, a month, they don't have any means to do that. Franzen hopes that out of destruction, people from all walks of life will come together to help recover. It's a part of the United States. They are U.S. citizens. They have fought for our country. And we need the same immediate response that another state would have. The state estimates some 13,000 Puerto Ricans live in Minnesota. Franzen points out there are also many Minnesota-based companies doing business there. The biggest challenge right now, again, is how to logistically get the help to the people who need it on the island. But she doesn't want that to deter people from giving because we really need that help right now for them. In five days to hear from your family, hard to imagine. Unimaginable. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Nina. Well, to Nina's point, there are many ways that you can help the people of Puerto Rico. The St. Paul Foundation is matching all donations up to $250 through October 19th. This weekend, the Minnesota Twins' wives are collecting non-perishable food, bottled water, and cash outside the Target Field gates before the games. You'll find more ways to help and more information at WCCO.com.